Okay, students. Now let us take up uh, question number 31. What it says is uh, Cu2Cl2, that is cuprous chloride, and CuCl2, that is cupric chloride, in aqueous medium. The choices indicates that which is more stable in aqueous medium. Stability of Cu2Cl2 is equal to that of CuCl2. Both are unstable. Cu2Cl2 is more stable than CuCl2 or reverse of this. It means that the choices are speaking about the stability of these two. Well, to answer this stability, see students, we need to look at the ionization energy information as well as hydration energy information. Ionization energy is energy needed, that means it is endothermic. Hydration energy is energy release, that means it is exothermic. Okay, students, for the removal of electron, if hydration energy is very much more than the ionization energy, then that ion exists in aqueous solution very much stable, in stable condition. Now look at this. This is in plus 1 oxidation state. This is in plus 2 oxidation state. What the data suggests is enthalpy change of hydration of Cu plus 2 ion is very much more than Enthalpy change of hydration of Cu plus 1 ion. Okay, students. Now, what does this indicate? That the moment copper is copper salt is added to water, it will prefer to be exist as prefer to exist in plus 2 state. It means that Cu plus 2 salt in aqueous medium is more stable, very much more stable than Cu plus 1. That means look at this. Stability of both are not equal, it says, no, it's not the correct answer. Both are unstable, no, it's not like that, it's not like that, because what is more stable, Cu2Cl2 is more stable. No, it's reverse of this, it's not the answer. CuCl2 is more stable than Cu2Cl2, that means this should be the answer. Cupric chloride is more stable than cuprous chloride, because of more hydration energy of cupric ion. Is it clear, students? Now let's look at the next question, question number 32. It is a very simple question. Okay, the question says, what is the uh, the coordination numbers number of iron and cobalt? The coordination number of iron and cobalt in the complex ions, the oxalate complex of Fe and the cyanide complex of cobalt. What is the coordination? It is asking you. Well, this is bidented ligand. This is ambidented but monodented. It's mono dented ligand okay by dented means just look at the number of ligands attached to multiply by two how many ligands three into two it means coordination number of Fe is six and here it is more dented ligand that is equal to number of ligands attached here four ligands are attached that means its coordination number is four okay respectively is present here respectively it means that Fe should be first and Cobalt should be next. Okay. Fe means 6 must be first. Look at the 6. Well, 6 is first. Okay. 6 is next. This is outrightly. We can ignore it. Okay. Here, there is no 6. That means it can be ignored easily. 6 is first. Okay. 8 is not the answer. It is 6. 6 is coordination number of Fe in that complex and 4 is coordination number of cobalt in this complex. Students, okay. let's take next question. 